All right, everyone, I wanted to talk a little bit today about the developing story regarding Joe Biden and some improperly maintained classified documents that he had. So this from the Wall Street Journal, it says, classified documents found at Joe Biden's former office, what we know. Revelation comes amid criminal investigation related to classified documents seized from Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. Okay, so only this week did the public learn that classified documents had been found in early November at a Washington office President Biden used after his vice presidency. Here is what we know about the discovery and its political and potential legal fallout. Uh, the White House confirmed Monday a report by CBS News that Mr. Biden's personal attorneys discovered classified materials more than two months earlier on November 2nd at his namesake Washington think tank, the Penn Biden Center for Diplomacy and Global Engagement and turned them over to the National Archives the following day. According to the White House account, the president's personal lawyers found the documents in a locked cabinet in an office he used there as they were moving Mr. Biden's items out. Biden aides subsequently found additional classified documents in a second location beyond those from the original discovery. A person familiar with the issue said Wednesday, further fueling criticism from Republicans and bipartisan calls for congressional scrutiny. Uh, what has Mr. Biden said about it? I was briefed about this discovery and surprised to learn that there were any government records that were taken there to that office, Mr. Biden said on Tuesday, adding that he doesn't know and hasn't asked what the documents contain. He said the lawyers are cooperating fully with the review of the papers, which he said should be concluded shortly. Now, okay, this is a pretty big story. Um, and I find it odd that he... Uh, doesn't know and hasn't asked what the documents contain. That That's a little weird. I mean, that, that'd be my first question if it was me and I had classified documents that, oops, were somehow misplaced. I'd want to know, well, what the hell was it, right? Now, I think there's two ways of looking at this. We, we could say, okay, this this happened uh, just before the election on November 2nd, but they've, they've kept it under wraps until now. So, why get it out now? Now, typically, um, sitting presidents uh, normally announce, formally announce their intention to run for re-election, usually in April or May, uh, obviously, of the year before the election. So we are closing in on that part of Biden's presidency where he's going to have to <clears throat> formally declare himself a candidate for re-election. So either one they're, they're, they're trying to get out in front of this, you know, public has a short memory. Let's, you know, let's just get this out there. So the sooner we get it out, the sooner we get past it or, or, and I think, I think this is a, a distinct possibility. This could be the way of the deep state sending a subtle message to Biden that, you know, Hey, this is just the tip of the iceberg. You know, um, you might want to you might want to decide to spend a little bit more time with your family coming up instead of running for re-election. We might want to get, I don't know, Kamala Harris, uh, Gavin Newsom, J.B. Pritzker from Illinois, uh, or maybe some dark horse candidate that they have in mind uh, to to run in twenty twenty four, probably against Trump. And I think they're concerned about Trump winning and Biden. Uh, his chances of winning re-election at this point. So, yeah, very, uh, very interesting. Um, I'm not sure, um, you know, what the fallout from this is going to be. I, I know, um, I believe Josh Hawley was calling for a special counsel. Uh, so, so we'll see what actually happens with this. Um, very interesting timing, uh, of course, as, as I said, that, this is coming on the heels of what would normally be the time where Biden would, would announce his intention uh, to, to run for re-election. So, you know, of course, it's going to be, um, you know, downplayed. It's, it's, it's going to be swept under the rug. It's going to be excused. Um, I, you know, part of me thinks that they're going to make a big deal about it. They're going to do some investigation. They're going to say, oh, well, it was just the... Uh, I don't know, something like the gardening schedule uh, for the for the White House. And they'll say, see, it really wasn't a big deal. And, and you know, Joe Biden's he's he's clean. You know, he didn't do anything wrong. 
Whereas, whereas Trump, oh, he was, he was a, he was a bad man for having those documents at Mar-a-Lago, even though he was president and could, and could, you know, have those documents there at, at the time and in the ways that he did. So let me know what you all think. Is this just a way to get out in front of this and have Biden go ahead and run for re-election? Or do you think this is a way for the deep state to send a message to Biden that, hey, your your days are numbered, we're, we're ready to move on, and we're ready for the next person to run. So let me know what you all think. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.